If for any reason you would like to test your CPU for errors, we can do that through a stress test using a program called M-Prime. You may be familiar with M-Prime as Prime 95 on Windows. Overclockers use it frequently to test their overclock settings and to see when their computer is reaching an, an unstable point and then they can pull the voltage back or the frequency, whatever they need to do, uh, they can pull that back or push it forward as they need to using Prime 95. Prime 95 or M Prime as it's called on Linux can be good for diagnosing a bad CPU chip. Now in order to use M Prime we first have to download it. There's a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. Make sure you download the correct uh, the correct version of M Prime for your CPU architecture. I have a 64-bit processor, so I'll be downloading the 64-bit ver uh, version of the program. Now, for convenience, I have hosted uh, both versions for you, uh, if I can type my URL correctly. It's www.codyraymiller.com slash M Prime slash for the 64-bit version. Uh, mprime259-linux64.tar.gz. That's for the 64-bit version. For the 32-bit version, just remove the dash linux64. So mprime259.tar.gz, that's the 32-bit version. Or dash 64 dot tar dot gz for the 64-bit version so you can download that file here it is in our home directory now we need to extract it using tar this is a gzipped tar ball and so we'll use tar xvzf uh, the x stands for extract v is for verbose z is to let it know that our tarball has gzip compression placed on it and then the f has to go at the end because it's specifying the file name which we can uh, specify here and you can tab over uh, rather than typing the whole thing out if you would prefer now we have everything unzipped unpacked into our home directory and in order to run in prime all we need to do is simply slash dot i'm going to go ahead and do sudo uh, slash dot uh, m prime so sudo slash dot uh, or dot slash pardon me sudo dot slash m prime so that we are uh, executing m prime and if it's the first time that you're running it here uh you can uh Choose whether or not you want to join GIMPs or if you just want to do uh, stress testing. Uh, and so that, that'll be fine there. Just select no. We just want to do some stress testing. And now we get to choose what kind of torture test we want to run. Okay. I'm going to do a blend. It's a pretty good test there. So um, it says type of torture test to run. Yeah, we're going to do three. That was the default, by the way. You could just hit enter there. And we do want to accept those answers. Again, you don't have to type it. The default is yes. Um, and we're going to be off and running. Um, so what you need to remember when you're testing the central processing unit on a server that is live is that you are slamming the processor, okay? You are slamming the processor, so it's not going to be good for a whole lot. If other users are connected to the system, if it's supposed to be functioning right now, not a good idea to be running M Prime because it is going to absolutely slam the processor uh, in order to stress it and to test it for errors. So all it is telling you right now is that the stress test is running and it's a continuous self-test. It's letting you know that because unless you stop it, it will run and run and run and run, okay? So when you want it to finish, it tells you what to do. You can hit Control c to end the test. You can see it's already gone through test one and then it went through test two and very shortly there it is it's done with test three it will run continuously test four five six seven continuously okay I, I know you know what that means but just giving you an idea that this is going to be hard on your CPU so you need to be aware 
that it's going to run continuously and of course it's going to affect server performance. So you need to bring the server down for maintenance, let people know it's not available. Uh, you probably want to be in single user mode right now. You you know may want to be disconnected from your network as well. So the server is completely inaccessible while you run a test that is going to be as hard on the system as this test is going to be. And again, when you are ready to end the M prime test you just use, you can see it finished their test four. You can just use control C in order to stop the test. Okay. So if we want to uh, exit, we just hit five here and we're out. We're out of M prime and it's no longer stressing our CPU.